We're back with Jamie, uh, Jamie Harrison. Uh, hi, we lost you for a second. Hey, hey, it was so hey, Jordan, upsetting to you lose you, but I'm here you are. About, you see what I'm talking about? We need better broadband here in South Carolina. My internet just went off. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm going to go. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, let me ask you this question because it's in, on my mind. Because this week, South Carolina Republican election officials were granted permission by the Supreme Court to reinstate this requirement that absentee ballots include witness signatures. Now, that has got to be a ridiculous thing in the middle of a, of a pandemic. When people are alone in their house, who's supposed to come and witness their signatures? Is this just another way for them to obstruct justice and obstruct the vote, in your opinion? And what are you going to do about it? Well, well, Joy, it's, it's the saddest thing. And, you know, Lindsay is in agreement with us. You know, in the midst of a pandemic, when anxiety in our households is at an all-time high, where people are just trying to keep uh, the, the lights on and, and pay their rent and, and try to stay safe and healthy, you've got uh, Republican officials here, including Lindsey Graham, who are going all the way to the Supreme Court to prevent people from voting. And that's, that, that's exactly. fundamentally wrong. I mean, we sent our sons and daughters overseas to, to fight for democracy, to fight for the right to vote for other folks in other countries. And we do everything we can here to prohibit people from voting in our country. That's just fundamentally wrong. Yeah. And when I'm in the United States Senate, it's kind of more, I'm more Jim Crow. It's a, yeah, it's like, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sonny, go ahead. Well. Uh, very quickly, we don't have much time, but we have very similar backstories, I've learned, and uh, with how we grew up. And you've said that regardless of what happens in November, you feel like you've already won. Tell us what you mean by that. Well, Sonny, you know, when I go out and, and I talk to young folks uh, and they just tell me, they say, you know, Mr. Harrison, I never thought I would see uh, you know, an, an African-American man from Orangeburg, South Carolina, run for the Senate. And you're almost there and you inspire me. And, and that's what this is all about. It's about inspiration and giving people hope. You know, our motto here in South Carolina, Sonny, is while I breathe, I hope. Hope is what got me from a mobile home to now on the verge of being the next United States Senator from South Carolina. It's hope and hard work. And I hope the young people see that in this country, what makes this country great is that you can do anything you possibly dream of. And you just have to have hope and you just have to work hard to, in order to do it. And I hope that this campaign is demonstrating that for young people across this country and in South Carolina. We, can, we only hope, Jamie, that people will do the right thing and vote. So I want to thank you very much for coming here today and we hope you'll come back again.